What's up everyone? It's Anthony with Acru Gaming. We are an amazing, wonderful, <laughs> satisfactory again. Um, such a beautiful, awesome game. So we've made some progress. Um, you can see this giant structure that I'm building here uh, is for my conveyors that are going to lead over to the factory. And bam, there's the conveyors. So I don't have and I probably should be doing this, but I haven't unlocked everything yet, so I don't have tier, um, tiers four through six available. Um, and those come with conveyor poles, but I figured out a cool way to get six conveyors on one um, foundation. So you basically just put these one space apart and it's like perfect in between. You can't actually walk <laughs> under there. Um, even if you have, even if you take this one out, you can't even fit in between there. So you kind of have to do this from one direction unless you build a separate walkway or something next to the platform. But this is super awesome. Um, and it's going to take my conveyors into the factory. Like I said, this first factory floor that I've got built is going to be iron. And then it will take, you can build conveyor walls that have, um, slots for the conveyors built into them and you and I'll take the other materials around the side and then down there down their floor so um, it should look pretty awesome like I said I should probably be unlocking the rest of those tiers um, but I wanted to get in here and get get this factory rolling and get the material to it so let's walk down here I'll kind of show you what um, what I did with this so Kind of difficult to get up here but once you're up here you can see there's like perfect spacing in the between the conveyors but we've got i ran i should run the power up here too that would make everything super super clean but that's right um i'd have to build another platform but i took the conveyor from from the material from these little pods here and that's um that one there is um copper yeah, that's definitely copper. So it's it's running from this, you know, from the mine. It's a it's a normal one, so this does 60 per minute. So it's running from the mine to a splitter into two smelters, and then back into some the um whatever that's called merger. <laughs> and then I ran the conveyor belt up here to the platform, and that's where I joined this one into the line. So I don't have this line running the whole way um, because I don't need it the whole way. Um, and we'll see if we can. Actually, we'll jump down here. And you and you do get hurt from that from that level. So uh, and then same thing over here. I took these and ran them from these little pod things that we created over here, and we got these all going again. These are iron. And they're um, they're normal ones, so they're 60 per minute into two smelters, um, and then back to one conveyor, so that it, it's maxed out on the conveyor. And then those run up to my main belt there. Um, and we'll go over here. But like I said, I, I was doing this setup in the last video, so you should have a pretty good idea what I did here. But I ran all the power. I'm gonna have to get some more. Um, I built a couple more biomass burners, but I might have to build um, some additional ones because it's going to be taxed with all this stuff on it. Um, and here's our concrete guy. So this one pumps out 60 per second, and I think I'm doing this right, and I'll find out. If not, I'll just have to move some conveyors. But um, this guy pumps out 15 per minute, so the conveyor is going to be really, really empty but it takes three um, limestone or one concrete so if that guy's pumping out 60 um, 60 per minute the max that it's going to support is this 15 um, yeah 15 30 45 no it would actually it's going to be underclocking the um, the uh, constructor but like I said I don't have another I don't have another limestone deposit out here. And then here's our uh, two more iron ones. So those all feed onto this huge platform. 
and we should be able to walk super fast here. And like I said, six conveyors on one platform is pretty awesome on one foundation. Um, like I said, if I had those conveyor poles, I probably should be <laughs> unlocking that stuff, but um, I think this is pretty awesome. And this is all I need. I don't even need, I don't need, you know, eight on this one thing. Um, it might be kind of nice to put them on one side and stack them all up, but this works out just fine. So I'll show you how I'm doing this and I'll show you how to combine, how to bring these up to it. Um, but I kept true to my word as far as kind of having a small footprint. Um, I've got this kind of up in the air. I haven't built any supports underneath it aside from where it goes down into the factory yet. So I'll probably do that sometime just to make it look right. Um, it would it does nothing, but <laughs> it's just uh, cosmetic. So I'm doing these every four, um, four foundations, and you just connect the belts. I try to do them in order so that I don't mix them up. guy here. Oops, they work good. And then we're coming to a corner here, so I'm probably going to have to do something a little bit different. Um, I figured I would stagger these guys. So I'll raise this guy up. Put him in there. Raise him up. Should line me up and look right when we come over here. So I still have access. I still have room to put one more on this side, and that's going to be right here. Um, we're going to bring this copper. I've got my copper completely shut off over here. I think that one might still be running. It had a lot of copper wire in it, but I've got a ton of copper wire, copper wire over there right now. So. Um, so that one will be this one, so I don't want to put one there. Um, so this one's low. This one's high. Low. And you just you just move them, a, you know, one space apart. That one's high. That one's low. That one's high. And then I've got two more spaces. One here and one here on this side, and that's for those two iron... Um, iron setups right there. And those will, those will run on that. So let's see how well this works. It looks it looks like it's going to look pretty good. But going around the corner, you're probably going to have to stagger them so that they don't um, don't run into each other. Uh, let's see if I can get this to work. Sometimes it wants to loop it around. Nice. Go on this side. It's easier from this side. Try not to walk off the edge here, because like I said, you don't die, but you uh, you get hurt from this height. And I didn't. I mean, there's nothing to picking this height. I just picked it because um, that's how high the hill was over there. So. Not like there was any sort of magical reasoning behind the, the height I chose here. Now let's see how this looks. Nice. Oh, it looks awesome. Super clean. Uh, that one's gonna kind of kind of curve a little bit, but there's no way around that really. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That looks sweet. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> this game, I, I love this game. It's so cool. 
So one, two, three, four. So there's four in between. Go to this one and then just set them up. I mean, it's super, super easy. Um, super, super fast. Grab your belt, especially if you have your hotkeys loaded. Um, you know, I've got looks like I've got the conveyor poles on four, and then the conveyors themselves on three. So you just get those things loaded, and you can change those throughout the game too. So if you're building a lot of, um, you know, if you're building a lot of these setups, put all those on the hot hot bar while you're doing that, and you can always change them when you go to go to do conveyors and stuff. I've got the stuff that I build the most on there. Um, and I change it every once in a while, but not very often. But it also depends on, like I said, what you're doing, what you're building. Let's see, how far away are we? Because we need to bring this guy up here um, and get him linked in. This one's going to be kind of tricky because I've got to go up to the second level. Let's try that on the next one here. And we'll see what that does. So one, two, three, four. Oops, missed. right up so um oh by the way i was going to show you one other thing these corners over here so when you're when you've got your foundations and you're going like this i went on a long run i just kind of eyeballed it from that end um i don't know if i can walk off this i eyeballed it from that end and just kind of went straight over here and then for this corner um, i put some plat some foundations on the ground um as in line with what I've got here as I could and also you know straight because um, if you just try to put it on the end of this and try to go crooked with it what it'll do is it'll it corrects itself and, and turns it to the to the angle that you were going so start from the ground build up to it and you can tell it's a little bit different height it's not a huge deal um, but once you build up to it I think I built this one here then you can put the partial one in um, and it lets you let you link them together without having um, having a hard 90 degree angle because like right here a hard 90 degree angle wouldn't do me any good I'd have to go way past um, where I wanted to go and to come back to the uh, to the factory so that's a way to get around the the hard 90s because like I said once you have one um, have one there it will it will let you build to it it'll let you connect them so we've got this guy here. I don't know if that's going to be too long though. Let's see. I might have to put one in kind of an intermediate one here. So you can reach this thing from anywhere. Too long. Oh, <laughs> look it. It is like two feet too long. Um, so let's escape here. And you don't want to, you kind of have to be careful not to make it too steep as well. And we'll put one of these guys here. I wonder if I can go up. Yeah, that's good. So this should work. But you don't have to go down there or anything. Can't afford. What am I out of? Steel plates. Not me. All right. Oh, I think I can jump down here because this is kind of an uphill. But you can see I totally took out my copper section. 
and that's gonna run over there and I can I've got a splitter right there um, so if if it comes down to it I can grab it and, and run that conveyor over I'm gonna keep all this equipment here um, or at least the wire portion of it I'm actually gonna deconstruct all of this I don't need it taking up power from the grid. Um, I'm gonna leave obviously leave all this together. Take that guy down. Um, but like I was saying, if I do need to, for any reason, make any more wire, I can just run a conveyor from that splitter or from that merger actually there's an extra slot there and just run it around here run it through and I can make wire but these are super super full that one's completely full and that one's these three are totally full <laughs> so um, I also am gonna have to move all these resources so I don't want to make any more than I absolutely need um, Shut this guy off. He might already be off. Turn him on to standby. And we're way. I might be able to turn another biogen. Let's see if we can turn another one off. You want to run the minimum that you can on these. I should be good there. I shouldn't have any spikes over 80. Um. Set my phone next to me so that I can set the timer that I never started it. So I have no idea how long I've been recording. Um, we'll just go for another 20 minutes, I guess. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Um, but like I said, we're spiking upwards about 60. It'll probably go upward, you know, 70. But 80 should be plenty. Um, like I said, run these as minimally as possible um, because you're just running getting getting resources if you're, if you're running these for no reason this guy on no power okay stand by um like i said yeah so run those just a little bit so i should have got more plate when i got the conveyor but we'll go grab some more my steel's all still going because I still need... These are still pretty full, but... No, oh, just keep grabbing one. That's not gonna be fill me up very fast. What else do we need? We have concrete, we have... We should have plenty of everything else. I've got a bunch of rods. I'm not making anything with rods, but... Um, I did move this over here. I was I had too many rods, not enough plates, so um, I threw a, um, a splitter here and a merger, or a, yeah, a merger there, um, so that I could get more over here into the steel plates. I think I've got this one overclocked by a lot. So it's making 30 iron plates per minute. So it's working pretty good. Need to, I don't need to speed anything else up right now. Because like I said, I'm going to have to move all this stuff. Um, let's go over here. And you can see the inputs on the factory. I'm going to have six conveyor options here. Or, sorry, 12. Um, I don't think I'm going to have that many right now. Um, I don't know that I'm ever going to need more than I'm, than I'm putting in here currently. But if I find, if I've got another... Oh, you know what that is? That is so awesome, because I bet that's a coal deposit right there. I really hope that's a coal deposit, because once we open up the uh, the next tier, I can put my power plant, like, right there. Sweet. Um, <laughs> so let's go over here, let's make some more conveyors. Get that guy coming up here. I wish you could, like, mine these rocks out. <laughs> I can't make it kind of in the way, but it's all right. I could build platforms and I would be over them, so. Let's 
though not a huge deal. Let me just double check the, make sure that this Dream Lab is not messing up on me. It looks pretty good. So, um, I don't know why that that one video. I need to. I what I need to do is just shoot them a video of what I have to do to get my um, screen going and see if they can troubleshoot it because it's it's not it's not working like it's supposed to be. But that's how easy it is to connect these things though. You just you grab the conveyor from the bottom and run it straight up. So you don't have to be down there, you don't even have to be close to it. It's just the build feature on this thing is phenomenal. As long as you got the materials in hand, it is cake. But these platforms, foundations, make everything, I mean, you make lining everything up so easy. Which, like I said, lining these all up is not a huge deal. I mean, I could have run conveyors on the ground or even in this pattern, um, but it's gonna look so much cooler and so much cleaner having them all together and then coming up here. Um, I love it. So these ones are going to have to link in down here. I'll link down the line further because that would be way too steep. So my inside one is... I wonder if I run this... So the other, the other difficult part is I will probably just run these way down here. So I'll probably run that one in sooner than this guy. Um, Cause you can't really turn them. So, so I can't just like go straight here and run up to it and then turn it in because it hits that other conveyor if I do that. And it, it'll still work. Um, and there's no clip on the conveyors, but it'll just look funky. So. And I don't want to do that. I don't want these all overlapping. One, two, three, four. And now we have this line as well. So let's crank that guy up. I don't have those yet, so. It's gonna be kind of interesting after we get those because like I said, you can't walk around these. I may have to build like temporary. I'll figure it out. I can always build like a temporary platform on the side. Link them all together and then dismantle that platform. I don't really know when you would need more than Dick's conveyors running this far anyway. <laughs> it's kind of crazy for myself to be running. But the fastest way to move the material is by conveyor. So um, I don't have trucks yet, and I don't think that the trucks are as efficient as conveyors. Uh, at least they weren't in real life. I did this, <laughs> I was talking to my wife the other day. I'm like, kind of funny that uh, I'm playing a game of a job that I used to have. I used to work at a surface mine. So uh, all of this stuff, the conveyors, the um, crushers and stuff like that that you know that we we use to take the raw material and make it into something something more usable um, I used to do this so it's uh it's kind of funny that <laughs> a job I used to do in the past and I didn't dislike the job um, so so that was that's one good thing that I had going for me um, it wasn't an easy job it wasn't a clean job but I had fun doing it um, it's just funny that now I play a video game that <laughs> Is basically that. Um, we might be able to do something like this. Oh, I can only 
turn up that much. Let's see if we can get this guy connected. Nice. How's it look? Oh, it looks beautiful. And then I'll have to get that one. Obviously that one's gonna go closer here, so it's gonna come over a little bit more. But I'll get this one to go to the top one in a second. I don't wanna put that one, connect that one yet. And I really shouldn't have to ever walk up here. Um, so I didn't worry about a walkway or anything. I guess later on I could put a walkway next to it if, if it'll let me. I haven't played with the walkways at all, so. But it's not like in real life where you have to <laughs> train the belts or anything like that. And they're just gonna run. One, two, three. So wait, I've got more than... Yeah. Six belts, right? My count this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine belts, not six. Holy mackerel, right? One, two, I want to get rid of this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> so nine belts in one without the without the conveyor poles. Um, I don't know where I got six from. I just kind of kind of threw that in there, I guess. Invalid aim location. Oh, let me. I don't know where I thought I was trying to put it, but... No. 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 Come on. I can probably walk that go. Yeah, I can walk on this one still. <laughs> it's getting tight. So this next one... I'm probably going to have to run right here, because otherwise it's going to be... See if I can get it to the next one. Because I don't want the conveyor to be too long and for it to not reach. Like that. Right? Is that what it's doing? Oh, man. Alright. Break that guy down. Try this again here. <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's gonna be like midfield or mid uh, mid platform here. That's all right. Might just see. I wonder if it'll run to here. It's going to be pretty steep, though. I don't know if I can get it up there. So, once you get this thing full, kind of difficult to get it all set up, but it'll be worth it in the end. fall off the end of this. If I fall off the end of this, it won't let me... Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. That was almost really, 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 really horrible. Um, how am I going to get back up here? Let's build some platforms. Was that a ramp? I don't want a ramp. Guess I should hit the right button then, huh? Oh man.
floor is too steep, huh? Okay. Let's not do that again. That was close. I'm glad that one little tiny ledge is there. I've fallen down there before. Um, go back up this conveyor here. It's a good thing about having this hotel. These two are coming up here. Oh, that's awesome. And what I like is it tells you like, hey, this is too steep. It doesn't just trial and error. You get material on it and it <laughs> rolls back down and won't come up it. But this looks super, super, super cool with all these conveyors on here. Um, I think even if I had the towers, I would want. Uh, I may, I may even use this, but probably not. Those would be a little bit easier to use. I need to figure out what I'm going to do when I get to this point too. So this is kind of where everything needs to branch off. Um, I may have to go, you know, loop around with with some of the stuff because, like I said, I, all the iron is going here. Um, I've got these two to add to it as well, which are just going to be one conveyor because those are impure mines right there. So it'll just be one, one more conveyor added. Um, what I will probably do is get it all to this point. Um, and keep it all in the middle. <laughs> and then actually start everything. Actually, I'm just going to get it to right here. I'm just trying to think if I want it in the middle or not. Because I don't know what... Um, I don't remember which... Obviously these two I, I know, and this far one I know. I don't remember. It was so far away. I don't remember which one is which. So if I fire everything up in about five years when all this stuff gets down the conveyor, um, I'll know which, which items I'm looking at. So... Um, that's probably what I'll end up doing. So let's just grab some more conveyor poles here. Go one, don't walk off the thing backwards. Two, three, four. And now we're a full, full load here. the safe way. Not even mess with it. Because I don't know if there's a, a bottom to where I'm at. So if I fall up here, I may be losing everything. Might not be able to re get my crate back, so... We'll do... We'll work smart, not hard. So, takes a lot of plates to get from there all the way over here. I can even imagine when I get this upgrading, if I start upgrading this stuff, 
gonna be insane. Um, I think if I can make it to there, I'll be alright. Nope. Took some damage. Sorry. Sorry, fix it. Damage some of your property. Don't worry about my legs. Grab some more plates. This four and grab another hundred. Do I have any other partial stacks? No. Have some stuff in there I could do without in my inventory, but that's alright. That looks awesome. <laughs> I know it's just floating there. It's totally unrealistic, but that's alright. It's a video game. I'm super excited about that being cool though. I really hope that's what it is. If it is and you know, let me know below. Obviously I'm going to find out pretty soon here because I'm probably going to start focusing on that next tier before I do too much with the factory. So that if there's something in there um, that will benefit me in the factory, I can, I can utilize it. Oh, well, Alright, I'll do that one first, I guess. I did make a conveyor over me the other day and it like I was stuck in it. So you can't get stuck in the conveyors. I had to deconstruct it before I could move. It was awesome. Everything else like buildings and stuff say personal in the way or something like that along those lines. Not a conveyor. It will build you right into it. So three. Nice. Get rid of those guys. And then the same thing here. We're going to kind of stagger these. And then I'm going to stop there. I'm actually going to start back a little here. Maybe even back one more. two for a second there. And again, don't back off the edge. So you can see right here how the plates, once you get them from, you know, once you get the right angle. And what I did over here is I put a bunch of foundations down from the wall. That way I knew I was lined up perfectly with the wall. And then when I got close to this, I built up this stack right here from the ground up until it was almost level. And you can see a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, honestly, if you were that worried about it, you could also do this. Let's see, eight. Maybe, let's see if we can get it to work. I don't know what that looks like underneath, but probably pretty funny <laughs> maybe not maybe it looks perfect but like I said if you were worried about that little lip there you could do that if it looks really stupid from underneath I'll be constructing from underneath um, this way I think I can I still need to get over there so we'll build a couple platforms out here but here's this will show you exactly what it does so see how you can build it into it once you have one set it'll build it into the next one so it's kind of cool
kind of cool how they allowed it to do that. Very convenient that they allowed it to do that. So, kudos to whoever implemented that aspect. So this is a bad spot to walk off of. This is where I wish there was an undo button. I think I can just build it straight up to it. Perfect. Pick the right thing here. Alright, so there's our conveyors. That's super awesome. And like I said, this like, gigantic floor, that's all just going to be um, not steel, iron. There's steel is later in the game. Like I said, I was watching somebody that was playing this a lot further along, and there's so much stuff. Where'd that piece go? Where'd that bush go? Where those leaves? There it is. Try not to run past him. Okay, so we're going to have to, we're definitely, I don't even know if I've got enough power to do this. Um... Let's fuel everything up. Oh, jeez, I'm down to three. Hopefully I've got enough fuel to fuel all these. I know I don't on me right now. Am I really out of everything biomass? Alright, well, <laughs> I am not going to bore you with uh, running and getting how much of this is that. That one is out of fuel. Let's turn these guys on so that we don't kill our... I think I can take a half stack, right? Yeah. Turn that guy on. Turn that guy on. And I'm gonna have to go get more fuel. That's the, that's the beauty of coal once I get it. Alright, so I've got 100, 200, okay. Oh, did I even turn that one on? So that will be our next, our next adventure is going to be to tear up. I really wanted to get the factory going and have it, have it making all the things that I needed. Um, but, uh, it's just not going to be realistic. That guy's on. That guy's got 63, so we'll do that. This guy died. We'll dump 100 in this one. Get him cranking again. I guess it's probably not going to work off of steel plates. Get that guy going. What do we got here? 154. 195. 
Just load these up with as much as I've got here. Any more in there? No. Okay. So that's everything. Everything should be running. That runs. Um, what's our capacity? So our ca capacity is 160 megawatts. And we're at 50. But I'm about to fire up a ton of stuff. These are... Are these on standby? Yes, these are on standby. So let's see what firing these plants up do. That guy's cranking. I think these are all already on. That guy's cranking. So you can see right here, so 60 down to 30. These guys should keep going and then it should completely fill the belt. Beautiful. What's up with this guy? Are you going? You're going. Okay. Now this half of the plant, I gotta run a wire. This guy. Actually, I'm going to. Will I need anything else over here ever? Not unless they do like lights or anything like that. And that should have fired up the rest of this, so that should. It may <laughs> spike and shut everything down, but we'll see. <laughs> Jeez. It was a pretty good spike. Do I even have... Yeah, I've got it all connected now. And now this guy is... Oh, no. Oh, look at how high those spikes are getting. 149, 157. Oh. Am I going to have to build another one? Let's see if we can... Oh. No, it was working so beautiful. I wonder if maybe all that stuff even fired up. So let's grab another platform here. And why buy one when you can buy two for twice as much? Grab a guy, one of these guys. And I know I'm going over my 30 minutes and I apologize. I'm just trying to, trying to get this all going. Line that guy up. Line that guy up. I really could run. Oh yeah. Run that guy. Oh, this is gonna shut down again in a second here. It started back up because I took that whole half of the plant off. So we got 50 in that one, so it won't run very long. 70 in that one. We'll grab what do we got in here? 92. Put that guy in half. Which one was it? This one? That sounds good. This guy. Alright, 200 megawatts. Let's see if that'll do it.
Oh yeah, look how high it spiked. Wow, so much stuff. Coal is gonna be amazing. Because it's gonna take me a long time running around trying to feed these things. Ooh, what are we peeking at here? 157, 160. So we should be good at the 200. Let's hope, because we're gonna go explore. Make sure everything's running right, and then uh, and then I'll cut the video off. So just wanted to show it to you. So full belt, awesome. That is running to capacity. That guy is running to capacity. Oh yeah, we are gonna have some resources. This just looks awesome. I love it. What about these guys over here? Are they running to capacity? I need to get the concrete going faster, so I'm probably gonna have to clock those off the concrete ones to get them increased. Oh, beautiful. Let's hitch a ride on this one. I like that you don't trip over stuff. Jump over here, and here comes the rest of it. That one's full. That one's full. What's going on here? No power. Did I not plug it in? Nope. This guy's gonna go a little bit slow. Man, I wish we could get those cranking out of there faster. I just need to increase it. And I think it's this that I need to increase. But that'll work. That's, that's doing something. Huh, I wonder why there was a big cap there. I wonder if that's where the power shut off. This thing should be going 100%. Are we still good? We only turned on one more. Oh my gosh, 165. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot for bio. So this isn't going to last very long. This is awesome though. So, you need to get a lot of resources moved. You can do it with an amazing conveyor. Um, super fun to build too, and then seeing it actually running is uh, is pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, that's it for this one. Like I said, getting getting lots of materials over to my factory. Uh, we should this should be set for a while. Uh, I need to start building that thing over there. I need to unlock some tiers. Um, most of all, I need to go get some biofuel. I don't even have enough biofuel to run my chainsaw, so I definitely need to go collect some trees and some bushes and some leaves and uh, get some biofuel made. Uh, after I get this all going and my factory is built or started over here to where they're producing just the minimum stuff, um, I'm going to turn that platform into the power plant area. So I'll probably run... I'll have to see because coal is going to change everything, but I'll have to see what this... Uh, what this looks like um, to be honest with you this all might just completely go away um, I can run this conveyor for the concrete uh, up onto the conveyor that I have here because this one's not full um, what's up with the gaps okay <laughs> tripped up a little bit um, but I'll be able to run that onto here no problem and it will uh, it will definitely keep up. So this is sweet though. All of these conveyors are going to be full as soon as they get going. And they're all, all going to stop obviously pretty soon here. The copper's already stopped. And I'm sure these other two irons have stopped. Because um, they're going to reach the end over here. But like I said, I'm going to run them around the sidewall of the factory over there. And uh, 
and they'll run run from that point so um again appreciate everybody watching i know i went over a half hour i apologize um just wanted to show you guys this and show you our new uh new production and we're cranking we're moving moving a lot of stuff now and we're gonna we're gonna keep making it making improvements so um again like comment subscribe if you want to um hit that bell so you, if you like the content that's coming out um that way i'll uh, you'll get the reminder uh, i try to make a video every single day uh, at least one in here every day um, i do play some other games some roblox games um, if you're here just for satisfactory i've got a playlist i'll put all the videos in that playlist so you can just click on the playlist um, if you're here for roblox i've got oh, same thing i've got playlists set up so um, look for the content you want if you're here from roblox watch this too because you're gonna love this game um and uh and hopefully you'll get you'll get hooked on it as much as i do as much as i am um get it now an early release if you have a pc um because i almost guarantee you they're going to raise the price after uh after the early release is over so it's it is a super cool game there's not a lot of bugs i have a i had a couple times today where i got stuck um but uh other than that i haven't had any any issues at all um, cross my fingers, knock on wood here, um, that, uh, that there's continued no issues on it, but, uh, like I said, we'll see you, we'll see you guys in the next one, I, again, again, can't, can't say enough, uh, appreciation for all the people that watch, uh, it's, it's pretty cool to, to be getting out there and show, uh, showing off kind of what you, uh, what you love to do, so, uh, appreciate you guys, again, see you in the next one.